I'm gonna give you some tips for new YouTubers that I wish I would have known when I was starting out, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. And real quick, if you've been on the platform for a little bit of time and you have some tips for new YouTubers, definitely make sure to leave them down in the comments below. The reason that it's important to not care what people think is because when we're first starting out, we're already worried about, hey, you know, is the lighting right? Does this look good? Is this quality? Are people even gonna like this? stuff. And let's just call it what it is. I mean, that's a lot of things to worry about right out of the gate. But then when you start thinking like, you know, hey, what are people going to think about how I'm actually saying things? What are people going to think about how I'm presenting? When you start thinking of all that stuff, then what's going to happen is you're going to stiffen up and you're going to start expressing yourself in a way that isn't authentic to you and how you communicate. The very first thing that I wish somebody would have told me or that I wish that I would have even thought about is to not care what people think. And the reason for that is you're gonna make a lot of decisions through this process. And when you start making decisions based on what people think, then you're gonna go off the rails, so to speak, on what it is that you really wanna do or communicating authentically. And the reason that that's a big deal is because if you're not communicating authentically, then you're not giving the parts of yourself that people will connect to. And if you're wanting to seriously grow a YouTube channel, you gotta take the mask off. You gotta let people know who it is that you are. You got to do you so that the people that are watching your videos can connect with you instead of some persona of what you think you should be. For example, let me give you a little story. When I first started putting videos out onto YouTube, I was so worried about what people would think that one, I almost didn't do YouTube. Imagine that. Imagine if I wouldn't have started on YouTube. But I was so worried about what people would think about me that I was actually covering things up. Like I would wear makeup, for example, in my first handful of videos because I was worried that people would see the redness on my face a little bit. They might see the darkness under my eyes or they might see some imperfection because I thought at the time, everything needs to be perfect. It needs to be this certain kind of way so that people will like the content, so that people will like me and they'll like what I'm putting out. I was doing things like I thought that people would like instead of communicating in a way that was true to me and who I am and how I do things. As soon as I took that mask off, as soon as I started putting the content out there and communicating in a way that was more authentic to me and how I do things, as soon as I started doing that, people started responding to my content more. I started getting more comments. I started getting more views on my stuff. I started getting better watch time in my videos because I was just on me instead of pretending to be somebody else. People can feel that stuff. In terms of what people are thinking, it's also important not to care about the hate comments that are coming in because here's the thing. The internet is anonymous. And since the internet is anonymous, people are gonna come in no matter how awesome you are no matter how good your content is, no matter how great the information is that you're sharing, people are gonna come in and they're going to give you a hard time. They're gonna come in and they're going to hate on you. Get used to it. It's part of the gig. We all go through it. It's just something that you're gonna have to look at and say, don't know why they're hating on me. Don't really care. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. The second thing that is extremely important if you're a new YouTuber is focusing on your goals. Actually having a goal, setting a goal and saying, this is what I'm gonna try to accomplish over the next three months. This is what I'm gonna try to accomplish over the next six months. This is what I'm gonna try to accomplish over the next year. And then focusing all of your efforts, all of the metrics that you measure, everything that you do, the opportunities that you take, the opportunities you don't take, the opportunities that you pursue, focusing everything on achieving that goal. And look, I don't care what anybody says, your goals are your goals. I don't care if somebody says, hey, that's a stupid goal, or if somebody says, hey, you shouldn't do that, that's against you know what YouTube stands for, or whatever. Whatever your goals are, that's your goals. This is a platform, this is a tool, and however you decide to use this tool, it's completely your call. But what I'm getting at is make sure that you chase your goals. If you are trying to be a big YouTuber, then you're gonna chase that goal. If you're trying to generate leads, you're gonna chase that goal. If you're trying to turn this into additional income for yourself or for your family, then of course you're gonna chase that goal. And when you know what it is that you're actually trying to accomplish, then you can know what it is that you need to measure in order to make sure that you reach that goal in the future. And I wanna put this out there right now. For anybody that's gonna go into the comment section and say, well, I just wanna upload videos for fun. If you are uploading videos for fun, one, that's awesome. Two, if you're just uploading videos for fun, then every single time that you upload a video, mission accomplished, right? Every single time that you hit the publish button and you have that video and it's live on YouTube because you're uploading for fun, that's what matters. So don't get caught up in how many views you get. Don't get caught up in how many subscribers you have. Focus on just uploading that video because you're doing it for fun. Don't go into the comments and say, oh, well, I don't care about goals because I'm just uploading them for fun. If your goal is to upload them for fun, you're doing it 
for fun. So every single time that you do it, if you're having fun and you hit that publish button, mission accomplished and lean on that and don't worry about all the other stuff. It doesn't even matter as long as you're having fun. But if your goals are other things, then that might move you into the next recommendation, which is to prepare for opportunities. Here's the thing. YouTube is a huge platform. There are tons of people on here and tons of opportunities being generated every single day on YouTube. So make sure that when those opportunities come knocking, that you're ready for them. Make sure that you have a media kit. Make sure that you have a bio. Make sure that you have an explanation of what your channel is about and the value that you're offering. If a brand reaches out to you to work with you or anybody reaches out to work with you, make sure that you can explain in just a few sentences exactly what it is that you do and the value that you bring. Another part of preparing for opportunities is putting a little bit of money aside. Let's say, for example, that you have an amazing collaboration opportunity that comes up but you need to actually go somewhere in order to do it. Well, if you have a little bit of money saved up, then it's not gonna be that big of a deal. But if you don't, then you're gonna have to miss out on that opportunity. Let's say that a conference comes up to where a bunch of YouTubers come together, something like VidSummit or VidCon, where you can go and hang out with other content creators, learn a ton, network to help you grow your channel. Then in that case, you're also, you're gonna have to buy tickets. You're gonna have to get hotel rooms, plane tickets, all that stuff. So if you can start saving for all of that stuff, just a little bit here and there, then that's another thing that you can do to prepare for opportunities. Next up on the list is to invest invest in yourself. We've all got time and or we've got money. So if you don't have a lot of money and you have the time, then spend some of that time watching YouTube videos like you're doing right now, trying to figure out how to do this stuff, trying to figure out ways to get yourself through the learning curve in terms of making awesome thumbnails, editing videos and all that stuff. If you have the money, invest in courses, invest in conferences and things like that. And it's also important that as you progress through this entire process, that you also upgrade your gear when required. And when I say that, I don't mean that you gotta have the best stuff and you gotta spend all this money on all the best stuff. But at the end of the day, the gear can make a big difference on what your end quality of your video is and people respond to that stuff. So if you need to upgrade, just invest in yourself and go for it and get that upgrade. Next up is to start networking with other YouTubers. Here's the thing, when we start out on YouTube, a lot of us are like, hey, I would love to work with this big YouTuber. But in reality, the people that are in your space right now that are coming up with you, like you're gonna create some wicked relationships there. And you don't know out of all the people that you're hanging out with in the YouTube space, you don't know who it is that's going to be that big YouTuber. Like you could have the opportunity right now to be working with a big YouTuber. They're just not big yet. So start networking with other content creators and come up together with other people. It makes the experience so much cooler. Brian G. Johnson and I, I'll put a link to him at the top of the screen, but Brian G. Johnson and I, you know, we've been going through this experience together. And I gotta say, it's just been an awesome experience being able to share this growth process with another person. It's just awesome. So if you can network with other content creators, big or small, the idea is to just start networking with other content creators. Next up is to start thinking of ways that you can monetize your content because the last thing that you want when you're at a point and you say, hey, I want to take this jump to where I can go from where I am now working this other job or whatever to being full-time on YouTube, the last thing that you want is to have this huge backlog of content that's not doing anything for you, that's not generating anything for you. So think of how you can start monetizing your content now so that as you're putting out your content, you can start generating opportunities for yourself for ways that you can make money from doing this stuff. At the very least, put an email list together or put some affiliate links in your description. Like at the very least, just do something small to where when you're putting out all these videos to where you're at least creating a little bit of opportunity for yourself to generate some income on the back end. Now this next one, when this is gonna be difficult and I know it's gonna be difficult and it's something that we all struggle with, but managing your expectations is extremely important. A lot of people put out videos, myself included, you know, when I first started, we put out videos and we think, oh, I'm gonna put this out and if people like it, it's gonna be awesome and it's gonna get tons of views and it's gonna be like, you know, hey, this is so easy, it's great. But in reality, that only happens for a handful of people. It's not something that happens to every single channel. So because of that, it's important to manage your expectations and, and keep in mind that you're gonna have to work at this for a bit. It's gonna take you time to actually understand how to use the platform, how to rank your videos in search, how to make awesome thumbnails and all that stuff. 
it's gonna take time. Some people come out and they just nail it. But most people, when you first start out on YouTube, there's a big learning curve that you're gonna have to go through and there's a process that you're gonna have to go through. So embrace that process and don't get really caught up in your expectations because in most cases, it's gonna take a while. And what I say it's gonna take a while, that's also dependent on your expectations and the goals that you set for yourself and all that because depending on what you're trying to do, maybe it won't take a while, maybe it won't take that long to reach your goals. But if you're trying to have this astronomical growth out of nowhere, in most cases, that particular thing is something that takes a while. So Make sure that you manage your expectations and that you embrace the process of creating content and networking and learning how to do all this stuff at a level that is a little bit higher than just uploading videos to YouTube. Next up, you're really not gonna like me for this one. Next up is to learn how to use the platform. A lot of people, they don't know a lot of YouTube features. They upload videos all the time, but they don't actually go in and figure out how to use the platform, how to use the analytics, how to add descriptions to your playlists, how to mark your playlist as a series, um, how to effectively lay out your About Me page. You know, learn how to actually use the platform. Just like if you get a new phone, a new piece of tech, a new anything, you know, you go through the process of, okay, how, how does this thing work? How can I how can I use this thing efficiently? And when people are uploading videos to YouTube because they're caught in the video making process, they're not caught in the process of, okay, well, I also need to learn how to use the platform so that I can use it to my best benefit. They're just thinking I need to get videos up. So make sure that you take the time and you actually learn how to use the platform here on YouTube. It can make a really big difference. Another really big tip is to get your workflow together. Here's how it goes down. You first start uploading videos, it's not a big deal. And then you start uploading more videos because people start responding to them. And then you start studying, okay, how can I make my thumbnails better? And then you start looking for more information on how to do all this stuff better. And you start, you know, using that to chip into your time. Um, and then from there, you know, you start trying to network with other people because we mentioned that on this list, right? And that starts chipping into your time. And before you know it, you have all of these things that you have to do. And you're thinking, wait a minute, how am I just like racing around in all this time, but I'm not really getting a lot of stuff done? Get your workflow together, the entire process of everything that you do. I made this mistake when I was starting out and it wasn't until fairly recently that I've gotten everything kind of ironed out and I'm still not 100% happy with it, to be honest with you. But getting your workflow together is something that is extremely important. And if you can get that together at the beginning, and this comes down to everything, how you organize your content, um, templates that you use to edit your videos, the, the, like everything, the entire process, where you share your stuff, when you share your stuff. Like if you can get that together now, then as everything grows, then you can adapt, make slight changes through the process so that as your channel gets bigger, as you get closer to your goals or you start achieving your goals, then you have all of this stuff fine tuned because you've been building it with you as you go. And that also includes your upload schedule because when you start uploading content on a regular basis, well, guess what? You're gonna be uploading a lot of content over time. And because of that, you're gonna have to find these pockets of time in your life consistently over a year, over two years, over three years, depending on you know what your plans are, you're gonna have to find pockets of time in your life to work in the process of making videos and editing videos and learning how to do graphics better and all of that stuff. So getting your entire workflow together can make a big difference long-term in your mental state and how effective you are at getting things done. Another tip for you, and this one's really important, is keep going and keep going at a pace that is sustainable. The reason that's important is because burnout on YouTube is real. If you're not doing this at a pace that you can sustain eventually, you're gonna burn out and you're not gonna do it anymore. So make sure that you're doing this at a pace that is sustainable because you're gonna be doing this for a while. Right? It's gonna, it might be a year, two years, three years, whatever. You're gonna be doing this for a while. You're gonna be uploading video content because that's what you like to do. That's why you're watching this video right now. So you wanna make sure that you keep going. And the reason that I really want you to focus on keeping going, regardless of where you're at in the process right now, is because like I was saying before on this list, you know, a lot of opportunity comes from this with the networking. A lot of really awesome friends come from doing YouTube. This is an awesome community and this is an awesome experience to go through. If you can start getting traction, if you can start reaching your goals and all that, it's an awesome experience. And because of that, I want you to keep going because I wanna see you go through that. Now I have a whole playlist I'm gonna put at the top of the screen right now that you should click on and watch if you're a new YouTuber. It's gonna take you through a lot of the problems that you're gonna be having, a lot of the difficulties that you might run into when you're trying to grow your channel. So go ahead and click on that right now and watch some of those videos. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.